Bulliger is through for the lead. Manzi will repay the compliment through turn two. Back in towards turn three now. Will Bulliger make the lunge? Manzi covers it off. It's Stefano Manzi still leading against Nicolo Bulliger. Turn five is the key chance now for Nicola Bulliger. The yellows are still out at 13. That's going to be the last chance to make a move. So down into five is where he needs to make it. Five consecutive race victories for Nicolo Bulliger, the newly crowned world champion. He's not close enough in towards turn five. Manzi lives to fight another day and holds track position. For Manzi, he's put his bike where it needs to be but look at the drive there from Bulaga up the hill Manzi takes the defensive line this could mean he's going to lose his speed through eight and nine and that could give the opportunity once again to Bulaga turn 11 is probably the next overtaking opportunity the yellow flags are in at 13 so we've got a few places to come through here goes Nicolo Bulaga my goodness he's done it over the crest of the hill and through Jones corner and it is Nicolo Bulaga who leads but Stefano Manzi will stand him up now at turn 11 brilliant racing between these two on the final line up here in Portimao. Stefano Manzi hits the front. We're coming towards the final sector. I don't think Nicolo Bulliger is quite close enough. Manzi takes a little bit of curve there, I think. And momentum now is with Bulliger. Can he make it in the drag race to the line? Two long right-handers to go. Manzi's been so defensive in a few corners. That's what opened the door over the Jones leap. Is it going to be a case of Bulliger coming back to him through turn 15? Final two turns then. We've seen Alvaro Bautista do it in the drag race to the line. His teammate for next season, Nicolo Bulliger, isn't going to be close enough. The winning run is at an end for Nicolo Bulliger. Stefano Manzi does it, but only just. Less than a tenth of a second between the top two in the world championship. But finally, Manzi reverses those positions. Second in the series standings this season. But it is a race victory in race two of this 2023 Pirelli Portuguese round. And I said before we got underway, the championship might be done and dusted, but around this second in particular, you're guaranteed great racing. And boy, did we have a good super sport race this afternoon. You wouldn't believe that the world championships had already been settled yesterday, would you? The, the way they were uh, really going for it. And Nicolo Bulliger as well, keen not to let that winning run slip, even if he's done his job this weekend. Well, thank God the world championship was decided yesterday, because that's what allows you to have a scrap like this as well. I think for Montella to get into the mix is great. For Manzi and Bulliger, they know what that rivalry is like. And uh, you can see the Tankadi team celebrating there as both riders jump off their bikes. But that one's going to mean a lot for Manzi. He hasn't won since his home race at Imola. So it's nice to be able to get yourself back on after two and a half months of seeing your rival win races. Normally in the fight, we was good during this year. We not we not have uh, many fight, but when we had, uh, we was good. And also today was a, was a good one. And I'm very happy. I want to say thanks to the team to continue to push me on background and to work to, to improve. So I want to thank, say thanks to Yamaha, the team, and also my family that come here to watch me. Very nice race. I had fun, really fun. Um, I didn't have the perfect feeling like uh, like yesterday, for example, but uh, anyway, I had fun. Congratulations to Stefano because it was very fast and uh, nothing. I'm happy and uh, I will try again in Jared.